like Stevie tried to groom my horse again. I had to brush out a huge tangle in his mane this morning all by myself. If someone's going to do something, she should at least do it right. That's what I always say. Then how come you did your buttons up wrong? Need your left. I'll have to ask Drew to find me someone more responsible to groom my horse. You'll have to groom your own horse from now on. It, but my parents are paying you to do that. That's not the case anymore. Your father's trying to save money, so you'll have to pitch in. Are you telling me that I have to work? Just a few light stable chores. Oh. That's it. I'm ordinary. Did you complain to Drew? We talked. And? I'm working in exchange for Garnet's board. Whoa. Why? I have no choice. I'd never agree to work to ride here. Say bye-bye to the rest of your life. Christy, you're so young and naive. You're forgetting the benefits of work. Benefits? Are you feeling OK? Well, there's a certain satisfaction a person gets when she pays her own way in this world. It's called independence. You've obviously been brainwashed by your father. Because the truth is, Veronica, nobody really wants to work. You wanted to see me? Yes, Stevie, I need a favour. You know I'm always happy to help, Drew. Now, I know you might not be interested, but I could really use a hand. I want you to watch out for Veronica. Be a supervisor of sorts. Look, now, I know you guys don't always get along, but I need somebody who knows how to do the stable work properly. Red doesn't have the time to show around. So, will you do it for me? Sure, Drew. No problem. Where would you like us to start? You ought to be the responsible one now, Stevie. I know, Drew. You can relax. I'll do my best. Thanks. I'll talk to Veronica. Let her know you're in charge. I'm in charge? Yes. I've put the horses away. I've washed the ponies. What am I doing now? It's time to clean the stalls. Okay, we'll start by mucking up these stalls. It's part of your duties, Veronica. But why does she have to tell me what to do? Stevie's your supervisor now. She'll show you what needs to be done and help you learn how to do them. Mucking out stalls is one of the duties you'll do twice daily. Once when you get here and then before you leave. That sounds excessive. So, what do I do with it? Pick up the muck with the pitchfork and put it in the wheelbarrow. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sure you are. Oh. You'll have to learn how to aim a little bit better, Veronica. Oh, I agree. This is not going to be easy. You seem to be getting the hang of it now. Veronica, where are you going? You haven't finished. It's none of your business. I am your supervisor. I'm going to the bathroom. I guess I can't stop you from following me, but there are some things that need to be done alone. Your new look is, uh, unique. 
Yeah, unique. Oh. How did this happen? Must have been that independent woman you're seeking. Very funny. Too bad you're up to your eyebrows, innit? There's this awesome sale on at the mall. 30% off designer labels. But I guess you can't make it. Hey, don't be silly. I can leave work anytime I want to. I'm not a slave. Mum's got the car outside. Just give me a minute to get changed. So, extra ice cream costs extra. Well, of course it does. Ice cream doesn't grow on trees, you know. Can't you put just a little bit more in and not charge us extra? Because a little bit isn't really extra. Extra is extra. Look, <clears throat> I can make it easy for you. If you haven't got the money now, I'll let you run a tap. Give us credit, you mean? You're regulars. I can trust you. I don't want to go into debt. Debt is bad. It's just a couple of milkshakes. Well, that's the way it starts. But before you know it, we'd be out for double malted. And Sundays with the lot, including fudge melt. We wouldn't be able to help ourselves. Just two plain milkshakes, thanks, Scooter. OK. Looks like you had a busy afternoon. Drew, my absence was unavoidable. The designer sales only happen once a year. But now I'm back and ready to work, so I'll just get changed into some other clothes. Veronica, in future you'll let Stevie know when you finished your work. You know what? I don't need to take this. Forget having to work. I've got other ways of making money. I've been meaning to sell garnet soon anyway. Sell garnet? You can't do that. What other choice do I have? She will so regret it. Are you sure? She loves that horse. In a Veronica sort of way. I've got to make her see sense. Why should we get involved? If not for Veronica, we should do it for Garnet. She's happy here. Well, I'd better stay out of it. She always does the opposite of what I say. You should talk to her, Lisa. She quite likes you. She's got a funny way of showing it. Hey, hold still. I don't want you to make it any more difficult for me than it already is. You know I'm not meant for this kind of manual labour. <laughs> <laughs> You're so silly. Hey. I can't believe you would even think about selling Garnet. You two obviously love each other. I like Garnet very much, but love, that's a bit extreme. You won't be able to live with yourself if you do, Veronica. Well, horses are bought and sold all the time. There's nothing wrong with that. It's what horse people do. <sighs> Saying goodbye to a horse is not an easy thing to do. It's like losing a part of yourself. Don't worry. My father will buy me a new, better horse once he bounces back from his business problems. <sighs> if you were my horse, I'd never sell you. Hey, please, leave her alone. She needs to look her best for her buyers. <sighs> thought that selling a horse would be such a huge task. I think you're making it harder than it has to be. Oh, uh, no way. I'm only doing this to avoid working. I've already seen ten people about Garnet today alone. I know. You act like you're selling her, but you've turned down every offer to buy her. Your point is? Well, it seems like you really don't want to sell her. Well, I don't intend to sell Garnet to just anyone. I need to make sure that her next home will be up to her standards and that I get the best price for her. She is a model thoroughbred, after all. Well, just remember, you don't have to sell her. You can always keep working on at the stables. Daddy, I want you to call back the highest bidder and accept his offer to buy Garnet. Veronica, you're making a big mistake. Can't you see them on the phone? Yeah, yeah but you and Garnet were made for each other. You can't replace her. You can't see it, but we can. Daddy, I'm gonna have to call you back later. I've got somebody bothering me. 
You can save the lecture. Your pal Lisa already gave you that sermon. But did she tell you that working at the stables isn't all that bad? It can even be fun when you're working with your friends. So you really don't have to sell garnet. Why are you being so nice to me all of a sudden? I feel sorry for you. Oh, don't bother. But you're going through a tough time right now. It must be hard to know what the right thing to do is. I'm managing very well, thank you. Where did you get it again? On the street, I told you. I've never seen a scratch of wing card with three lemons. Isn't it usually three cherries? Who cares? Let's do it all with one. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're really great. I'm gonna miss you. Your new owner's a very lucky person. I can't be here when she comes to pick you up. So, I've got things to do, so... I'll say goodbye now. Great life, God. I really do. Be safe always. I'm gonna wish to reach by the sky. With double flavour. No, get triple. Triple flavouring and five extra scoops of ice cream. Make it eight. Eight? Well, why not go the other way? Just have ice cream with a bit of milk tipped over the top. Hey, we're paying customers. <clears throat> Talking about paying, can you afford this? We'll run a tab for now, but we'll have the money soon. A lot of money. Well, what's the uh, secret of your success? We're into lemons. Oh. Is there money in lemons? Scooter, we're dying of thirst here. Hurry it up. We want it to be so thick you can't drink it with a straw. Oh, yeah. Hey, um, here's some money that you lent me for shopping the other week. Great. Think I'll head to the mall and spend this. Wanna come? How could you be so heartless? Huh? What's so heartless about going shopping? The money you're about to spend came from selling garnet. And? And my life's meaningless without her. I don't want your money, Veronica. Oh, it doesn't matter anymore. We can go shopping. I'll buy you anything you want. <sighs> All I want is Garnet back. She's taking it harder than I ever imagined she would. Poor Veronica's taking the sale of Garnet very much to heart, isn't she? Let's face it, Annie Liz. We won't be far behind her. We'll have to sell our horses too. Oh, Drew, has it come to that? There's a lot of people we owe money to. Can't let them down. And the banks? You know the banks. Won't lend you an umbrella on a rainy day, but throw them at you when it's fine. I take it that means we can't refinance. I've tried everything. I don't know, maybe Max can think of something. If he gets here in time. He's waitlisted on the next available flight. <laughs> what a gloomy homecoming for him. No, you did everything that could be done. Hi, guys. Look. I just thought I'd mention, if it's any help, I could work just for my board and keep and you could plough the money you save back into this place. I couldn't consider that, Red. You've always had such a big heart, Red. That is a very kind offer, but it's gone beyond that, I'm afraid. Really? Afraid so. Gee, I'm gonna miss this old place. We all will, Red.
Sorry, Veronica. Yeah, same here. No, I mean, I'm sorry about all the rubbish I talked about work being beneath us. You know, it's funny. It wasn't until I started to take care of Garnet by myself that I realised how much I loved her. When I was just riding her and not taking care of her, I, I took her for granted. Yeah, I realised something too. I really, really like Red and he mucks out stools for a living. My whole attitude about work is way out of line. I guess we've both been pretty stupid. Tell you something else. Scooter works for his living as a waiter. He's a really good friend to you. You're lucky to have him. Can't stand to watch Veronica come up around the stables anymore. I thought I'd enjoy to see her suffer, but this is depressing. I miss Garnet too. We have to do something. The only thing that's gonna cheer her up is by getting Garnet back. So that's what we'll do. It's not gonna be that easy. The new owners don't wanna sell her. She's a top-notch horse, so they're not gonna let her go easily. Unless they get more for her than they paid. That's not gonna happen. What if Garnet wasn't a top-notch horse? What if something was wrong with her? Garnet's in top physical condition. A horse's condition can change like that. What do you mean? I think I'll get a double crown this time with extra sprinkles. Yeah, me too. You girls are becoming my best customers. And we might be back tonight with our whole family. Our treat. You've already run up a tab of $22. Did you win the lottery? We did. Well, not the lottery, but we did win $200 on a lemon scratchy. A lemon scratchy? Can I see it? I found it. <laughs> Girls, let me tell you the good news. You now only owe me $20. You see, you've missed a very important point here. It's the decimal point, 2.00, $2. We don't have any money. What are we going to do? Well, we could use some help in the kitchen for a week. A week? It was just a bit of ice cream. And a malt. Ah, mm. Oh, hi, Veronica. What'll it be? Ah, uh, actually, I've come to talk to you. Ah, uh, well, step into my office. Shh. Scooter, I've been very stupid. Well, that's something I know quite a lot about. I've sold Garnet, and I know I've done the wrong thing. It's, it's like I've lost a friend. Can you not try to get her back? Oh, no, my father offered to buy her back from the new owners, but oh, no luck. I, I shouldn't have done it. If there's nothing you can do about it, You've just got to move on. But, uh, I betrayed her. And, and she's always been so faithful to me. Don't beat yourself up, Veronica. It's not going to help. I'm, I'll, I'll never forgive myself. 
I just can't. Of course you can. You're too strong to give in to this. You always make me feel better, Scooter. Do I now? Well, how about that? So good to see you again, Max. Oh, same here, Mum. Welcome home, Max. It's good to be back. I wish you were under happier circumstances. Oh, well, we're still alive and we're still a family, right? That's the spirit. I'm sorry I couldn't have done more to save one hollow. Oh, look, you gave it your best shot, Drew. Now, I'll give it mine, and if that doesn't work, well, we'll just have to bow to the inevitable. The world will keep on spinning, right? I used to look after Garnet back at Pine Hollow. This one is Garnet's favorite. I thought she might be missing it today. What's it for? Oh, she only needs it on cloudy days. Garnet has a better run if you warm up her hip for about 20 minutes before you ride. What's wrong with her hip? Uh, did the D'Angelo's not mention it? Mention what? It must have slipped their minds. <laughs> The problem isn't that serious. That's right, you just need to nurse it along. Take it nice and easy. I don't like what I'm hearing here. Did we say something we shouldn't have? No, young lady, I think you girls just did me a big favor. I'm gonna give Mr. D'Angelo a call. You don't have to leave Pine Hollow because you don't have a horse here. You can ride the school horses. You can ride back. Christy, I can't. It's just too hard for me to be here right now with so many reminders of Garnet everywhere. You see, I'm even hearing her whinny. It must be going crazy. Veronica, I heard it too. It's Garnet. Oh, she's back. Oh, Garnet. Oh, I missed you so much. Did you guys do this? It was Stevie's idea. And your dad returned the check, which he did in a flash. Thanks, Stevie. It was a really good idea of yours. That's fine. Actually, Garnet Stall could do with a clean Veronica. I'll get onto it straight away. I'll help. <laughs> 